my channel and if you're new what up today you guys i'm very excited for this video because this is going to be my yearly perfume empties video i love filming this video at the end of the year i definitely did one last year so i will go ahead and link that in the cards for you to check out so you can do a little bit of binge watching some empties but this is going to be all the perfumes that i finished up in 2023 and i definitely take using up my perfume seriously because just like with everything else that i have a large collection of i definitely work towards actually finishing things instead of just keeping it around and holding on to it and somewhat hoarding it okay so i do actually actively try and use up my things so that i can keep things rotating and cycling out instead of just having a big huge abundance of things and no space whatsoever so um i definitely could have went through more perfumes but like i told you guys in um one of my other perfume videos i don't remember uh during the beginning of the year i had a really really hard time focusing on my perfumes and using up my perfumes, I guess because I was just in a moving mindset. And so it took me a while before I actually got back into the swing of things of actually using my perfumes. But I feel like for the rest of the year, I did so good. You can basically say that all of these perfumes were used up within the last six months of the year. So to me, that's incredible that I got through this many. So let's jump right into it. I'm actually gonna start with my travel size um, perfumes. So I did go through Paco Rabanne's Fame and I ended up buying a full bottle of this perfume. I really love it. I'm not gonna go over too many scent notes and things like that. I'm just gonna kind of describe what the perfume smells like to me. Did I repurchase it? Would I repurchase it? If it's just gone out of my collection forever. Um, but yeah, Paco Rabanne Fame is a really, really nice um, tropical mango smelling perfume but definitely more on the perfumey side it definitely has like a floral perfumey essence to it as well in addition to like that tropical mango but it really is a great spring summer type of perfume and i did buy a full 100 ml bottle of that one so it was a repurchase and then i also finished off my travel size spray of jimmy choo i want you i did not feel the need to repurchase this one in a full size i even said when i did my review of paco Rabanne fame that jimmy choo i want you smells similar to paco Rabanne fame it's just that this one is more of a peach vanilla version um, it still has that floral essence as well. They were similar enough, not dupes or anything like that, but similar enough to me to where I felt like I didn't want a full size of Jimmy Choo I Want You. And then I did finish my Marc Jacobs Perfect Little Travel Size. I do have a full size of this already. I like Marc Jacobs Perfect. From the first time I smelled it, I remember one of the associates at Ulta told me to smell this perfume and I smelled it and I was like, wow, it really is perfect. This is a really nice, pretty, kind of clean, kind of out of the shower but you use a really nice almost fruity fresh body wash and you just smell clean and pretty and nice it's a really really nice spring summer fragrance as well just one to throw on it's like an easy reach you know you're gonna smell good so i really do enjoy Marc jacobs perfect and then the last travel size spray i went through is my product paradox and this one is it's nice i don't think that i would want to repurchase this one though it kind of has that like bubble gummy um tuberose kind of smell to it i don't know it it just doesn't wow me like i'm not in love with this one people say that it also smells similar to valentino donna born in roma it has that dna but it's a little bit more bubblegummy tuberose my way ish in my opinion and i love my way way more than this one so i don't think i will repurchase prada paradox okay and then i want to show you guys this perfume oil so this is the vanilla musk by nemat perfume oil this is so good i absolutely love it i already repurchased it it's just a really really nice perfume oil to mix in with your body lotions or to apply to all of your hot spots before you spray on your perfume it's just such a really really nice vanilla musky type of fragrance so it has that like musky quality to it in addition to the sweet vanilla so it's a little bit more of an airy vanilla but so so good and like i said it was a repurchase so absolutely love that one now let's get into my bottles and all of these are full size bottles from one ounce to 100 ml so let's talk about ysl libre did not like this perfume did not enjoy using this at all i use it as a room spray i also use it on my body but i was so happy to get through this this is only a 30 ml bottle but i just cannot stand the ysl libre dna it bothers me nothing about oh and this was libre intense sorry this is not the original libre this was libre intense nothing about this dna resonates with me it just doesn't sit well with my chemistry and i don't like it and it also bothers me it gives me a headache y'all know this is a very heady lavender 
uh, white floral vanilla fragrance and it's just not good in my opinion that's just me i know so many people love that fragrance it has a cult following it's just it's not for me um and then i just recently finished off my victor and rolf bonbon perfume i really enjoyed this perfume i did leave a little bit of juice left in here so that i can revisit this one and smell it i still have a perfume that's similar to this one in my collection but this is the og the original this one smells like literally caramel covered oranges it's so good it's citrusy you like mandarin orange and then it has that really really sweet caramel and a woody base dry down this is like a really perfumey date night sexy yet still gourmand type of perfume in my opinion and i love it so much i always love this perfume from first sniff this was a 50 ml bottle so I love Victor and Ralph Bonbon it would be a repurchase after I go through the other fragrance that I have that's similar to it and then of course I finished off my Ariana Grande Cloud Intense and thoroughly enjoy the Cloud DNA so I would repurchase this even though I like the original Cloud better than this one I still love this one and wouldn't mind having it in my collection so if I were to get it as a gift or if I was just looking and browsing and I wanted something to buy and like this was on sale or something like that, or even if I wanted just a one ounce, I would repurchase this perfume. I would grab it. I just enjoy the Cloud DNA that much. It is definitely one of my most repurchased perfumes. So I would grab that one. I would repurchase it. Another repurchase is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. I finished this over the springtime and this was just such an enjoyment, like such a great perfume to use during the spring and summer it's very fresh it's very appropriate for hot weather it makes me feel refreshed it has that kiwi mandarin orange top note and then it has those really pretty nondescript florals and then for the base note it doesn't have anything super super heavy that takes away from like the light airiness of this perfume it doesn't like drag you down in the heat i really enjoy this one as a nice refreshing type of perfume and then it just smells pretty like this one is a compliment getter because it just smells very very pretty very very feminine so i did love this one and i love the color of the juice when it was in here it was like a light peachy color so it was just great i love that perfume and then I also used up my Giorgio Armani C Passione during like the spring and summer. And this was like my signature scent during the spring and summer. Smelled so good. It reminds me of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. It has kind of like the same DNA makeup of Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Even their scent notes are very, very similar. But I feel like this one is a lot more soapy clean, um, a lot more powdery as well, but in the most grown up feminine adult way like this one definitely gives grown woman like it gives clean sweet pretty perfume but grown woman so i thoroughly enjoyed this one i feel like it's a very versatile perfume as well you could definitely wear this one like i said every day as a signature scent for work you could wear this one on a date you could wear this one out with the girls like on a sunday fun day it's just a really really nice everyday versatile perfume and i thoroughly enjoyed having it uh, repurchase. Yes, it is. Um, and then we have my Britney Spears Fantasy. I had this bottle for so long and it was finally time for me to get it finished. I had it like down to here for the longest time. It was like a little bit left in here. This is a repurchase just because it's a very nostalgic scent to me and not nostalgic like way back in the day I used to have this or I used to smell this. It's nostalgic because it was definitely one of the first perfumes I started to seek out when I went on my perfume journey because I was like everybody and their mother has had this in their collection or still do and they talk about it a lot and they just say like you know how this is one they would repurchase even though it's considered kitty childish and it's a throwback perfume it's one that they would repurchase and now i get the hype and i see why they say that it has that really really fruity somewhat sharp kiwi note in there and then it also has um i believe it's kinks and red lychee just such a beautiful opening in my opinion a lot of people say that it's sharp and i do get that a little bit like it can it can kind of be screechy but for me it's in a good way i really enjoy it and then you guys know it has that like really sweet cupcakey frosting type of dry down in addition to like that orris root that woodiness i just think this is a beautifully composed like really really unique type of perfume i have yet to come across a perfume that smells like this that gives me the same vibe that this one gives me just so unique and it's been around for forever for good reason it's absolutely amazing definitely would repurchase that one okay and then we have ariana grande sweet like candy i would not repurchase this fragrance only because the next one that i'm going to talk about from ari i like a lot more than this one this one is cute it's sweet it definitely is candy like um it has one of my favorite notes on the top it has that black rant has that pear um is this the one that has marshmallow in it i'm not sure but it has some really really good nice scent notes some solid scent notes it's a solid perfume everyday easy reach when you want that sweet like girly type of vibe but i just wouldn't repurchase it it's just okay to me but i love me some ari okay i really enjoy this one and this one 
is that raspberry pear marshmallow type of vibe i really enjoy this one i've gone through two bottles of this so this one is my second bottle and i actually actually repurchased this at the end of 2022 and then i finished it off early in 2023 so that lets you know i really do enjoy this perfume i really do like it so that one is a repurchase all over again and then i finally went through my guest by marciano a perfume y'all know i rant and rave about this one i thoroughly enjoyed my time with it um i did leave a little bit in the bottom i just love that really really bright alcoholic curacao note in the beginning of this and then how it dries down to more of that like kind of warm woody vanilla just such a good staple perfume i love mixing and layering that one so i would definitely repurchase that one and again this was one of the first perfumes when i was going on my perfume journey that like really resonated with me and i had so much fun with that one so it's a repurchase for sure and then giorgio armani this is aqua di gioia i wouldn't repurchase this one it was just okay this was more of one of those crisp fresh type of perfumes um this one started out with some lemon and then it um dried down into a brown sugar note it was like a really really like citrusy like i said crisp fresh out of the shower easy reach type of perfume definitely a good one to wear in the heat definitely a good one to just kind of spritz on as a refresher but i have other like freshy perfumes in my collection that i like a lot more than this one so i wouldn't repurchase it and then this one i am considering an empty because i was holding on to this little bit of fragrance this is like 10 mils i was holding on to this little bit um because i hadn't gotten any backups of this one but when i went to go see my best friend in virginia she definitely had two backups on hand for me so absolutely love her for that but i still didn't want to empty out this one because this is my original and the bottles she got me were in a different packaging and the scent is the same the scent is the same but i just i i want to hold on to this one i want to keep this one so i am going to keep that little bit of liquid in there but i am considering this an empty perfume because y'all already know i went through this whole 100 ml bottle of perfume in like two and a half weeks so really and truly if i wanted to use up that little bit right there it would take me a day if i wanted to use up that little bit but i'm not going to still going to consider this an empty i love this one it's a citrusy vanilla musky type of fragrance very very pretty when the vanilla dries down it's like really sweet but that citrus never fully goes away it's a little little tiny bit musky it's just so gorgeous like this is a gorgeous gorgeous perfume absolutely love it have talked about it and ranted and raved about it in so many videos so i'm gonna move on the very last perfume that i have here to show you guys for my empties this is alien goddess this is a little 30 ml bottle and i did use this one up during the summertime i really enjoyed this one this is like your tropical coconut like coconut water watery vanilla sweet type of scent this definitely gives me tropical beach vacation beach goddess glowing glistening skin summertime like that is exactly what this fragrance gives me so i really did enjoy my time with it but i wouldn't repurchase this one i just have other coconut vanilla type fragrances that i enjoy a lot more than this one so while it was nice enjoyed my time with it it won't be coming back into my collection the bottle is absolutely stunning and i definitely loved how it sprayed out when i had it but yeah, this one will not come back into the collection. So that is it, you guys. Those are all of my perfume empties for the year of 2023 from travel size to full size bottles. Definitely enjoyed my time with these fragrances. There are a lot more repurchases than there are not repurchases. So that's that's telling me something. That's telling me something. Um, Yeah, so I can't wait to see what I go through this year. Let me know down in the comments what were your top perfumes that you used up this year. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.